everyone welcome back to another video it's monday morning right now at around 8 a.m i got up around 7 ish and i've just been studying for our 9 a.m exam in cell biology i think right now i'm going to take a shower and then get some breakfast or something together and eat that and then hopefully by like 8 30 8 45 i'll just be at my desk waiting for the exam to start it's about 70 questions and we have an hour and 40 minutes so plenty of time to complete it which is great and then after that i have sim lab from 12 to 3 and then i also have to be in sim lab at 4 for inputting a treatment plan for one of our fake patients into the my dent or axiom software there so i probably will just go grab jimmy john's in between the two that way i have some food and then i'll come back to school and do that treatment plan entry i'm back here and then i have a zoom for one of our classes a class project at 6 30 tonight and then i'm speaking to a club at michigan state university over zoom at 8 p.m to 9 p.m so busy day <laughs> and then we have our next exam on friday and we also have a quiz in cell biology on the new unit on thursday so that's the main like exams and testing stuff and we also have a case study due friday for infection and immunity as well as that exam that is on friday so quite a few things to do and then i'm also pretty busy in the evenings i either have a podcast thing or i'm speaking to tons and tons of clubs this week um so it'll be interesting and i'm excited to take you all with me i kind of wanted to like cry during that exam i'm sure if you've taken biochem you can relate to that because that's pretty much what this exam was it was like a biochem exam and i remember taking the biochem exams in undergrad and there were so many pages and so many questions and you finish and you're like the last thing i want to do right now is go over all of my answers but like you have to to make sure you get a better score and i'm glad i went over them because i did find two that i ended up changing my answers on hopefully to the right thing. Unfortunately, it's not graded yet, but we'll see. So I'm just gonna make some lunch really quick. It's 10.30, I'm gonna leave at around 11.30. And then, like I said, sim lab, a little break. Sim lab again, back here for a meeting, and then the presentation. So I'm probably not doing much like lectures and stuff today. I'm just gonna do all that on Tuesday and Wednesday when I don't have any in-person activity. All right, it is Tuesday right now. I didn't, don't think I really filmed anything yesterday because I was in a bad mood after the exam and I was nervous about SimLab getting our grades back. We didn't end up getting the grades back. SimLab went really well actually and I was able to get everything done for the day plus get um, our patient information entered into my dent. So I was able to leave after SimLab instead of having to stay until six, which was great. So I got home at three instead, which was awesome. I really just got a bunch of our like busy work assignments, discussion posts, projects, things like that done for the week, everything non-studying. And I had the group project meeting and I did the presentation for the club at MSU called Clued. And then um, I pretty much just went to bed after that. But today I woke up and have essentially just been doing immunology all day. We have our exam on Friday. So I finished watching the last two lectures. One was on retroviruses and one was about the coronavirus. So everything we've had this semester for that class, unfortunately is pre-recorded from last year. And I guess I get it if they're just gonna be restating the same information. But because of that, there was no talk about coronavirus and the information about the coronaviruses because it's a class of viruses and COVID-19 is a specific illness caused by the specific SARS-CoV-2. Anyways, they were outdated information about the coronaviruses. So they made a new lecture for that at least and that's also on our exam. And then I also have case study to do for that class but they pushed that back until Monday thankfully so I might wait to do it until over the weekend. But right now I'm just studying here and obviously have a snack. So I'm just going through and writing out this um, really nice sheet that one of our classmates made for us with all the viruses and like the facts we need to know about them. So it's not too, too long, it's six pages though. So I'm just gonna put them all on here just for the sake of like having written them down once. And then I'll probably write this down a couple times on a whiteboard less neatly till they get in my brain. Like I'll probably do like these three over and over till I get all, all of it down. Then I'll do the next three. I think for memorizing, it's really helpful to go one thing at a time or two things at a time. If you try to go over all six pages over and over, nothing's gonna stick. You have to take it in small chunks. So that's definitely a tip for memorizing. And I'm in a bit of a better mood because we got our exam grades back from yesterday and I actually did 
really well, the best I've done so far on one, which was very surprising to me because it was such a tough exam. But that's really great because I did start studying in advance and I studied a lot, so I was hoping I'd do well. But after taking it, I felt kind of discouraged. And then I also, like last time for this class, um, exported my Quizlet onto a PDF and I'm going to study this once I feel like I got those virus facts down. I'm just going to read over it and then if there's anything that's kind of memorizing like what are the seven features common to all viruses? Same thing, I'll probably put it onto a written study guide once and then start doing it over and over on my whiteboard, less neat. Wednesday right now I just finished our live 8 a.m. class for behavioral science it's 10 30 and I'm about to kind of get ready here so I am getting ready to help the school with something so I have to go in at noon and I'm just eating some leftover Jimmy John's and some Starbucks and stuff from yesterday um, I think the last thing I kind of showed was me going into SimLab. Before SimLab, I recorded the Time Management Podcast with my two classmates, Rob and John. So that turned out really great. It's one of our longest episodes yet. So there was plenty to talk about from time management in dental school and also some undergrad tips as well. Then I went to SimLab and got some help from upperclassmen with my class one restoration, some advice of their techniques of how they do it, and it definitely improved things so I still want to do quite a bit more practice before the remediation on November 16th. It's the 4th right now and I don't have sim lab today but I still am like I said going into the school so I need to put on my like business casual and get all together here and then when I get back I really have a good chunk of time until debatably 8 p.m. but there's a zoom at 6 that I would like to tune into and then we have a class social 7 p.m that I can only stay for half of it because at 8 I for sure have to not be studying because I'm doing a presentation for another club at Michigan State. So in theory I could do school until 8 but likely I want to stop at 6 so I'll have like 4 or 5 hours. And what I'm going to be working on is some of the lectures for our quiz tomorrow in cell biology that I have to finish up and study and then hopefully I'll have enough time to study for Friday's exam in infection and immunity a little bit today. And that's pretty much everything though. Nothing too, too exciting, I guess, this week. And I feel like this vlog has really just like been studying because there's not as much happening. But, and in lab on Monday, like I said, I didn't film a ton Monday because I wasn't in good spirits. It turns out that I did pass my prep and restoration because we got those grades back on Canvas yesterday. So when I go into sim lab tomorrow morning, I'll get the actual paper and get to see my rubric graded. But I do know that I passed the prep and the restoration. So the only thing, assuming I can pass the caries removal lab, the only thing I'm remediating is that class one restoration, which is pretty good because it was pretty early on in the semester. We're still waiting for our wax upgrades and that's one of the things I'm the most nervous about because I don't think my 20 turned out that great, but we'll see. Hopefully it passed. That would be awesome. And I didn't show a ton of Sim Lab Monday, like I said, one, because I was kind of in low spirits, but two, we weren't doing all that much. We placed um, glass ionomer liners in the tooth and pretty much you just would use that if you don't have time to do a full restoration and it just kind of seals things in to prevent any sensitivity or anything. So it was kind of strange because you wouldn't really use them on the kind of teeth that we have that have like two or three millimeters that we've removed. Like that's just not really a situation where you use them. So it wasn't the most productive session, but then I got a bunch of my patient entry done for our comprehensive care clinic class which I definitely did tell you all but that's why I really didn't film much because I was mostly just on Axiom typing in data so there wasn't all that much to show but yeah I'm gonna get ready now and I will check in with you all in a little bit I've been 
on my way up, now it's really far down I don't think I'll feel it when I hit the ground In October it feels like summertime I keep falling for you like every night Alrighty, it is time for bed <laughs> quite early on Wednesday because I have an 8 a.m. sim lab tomorrow. There's not much to do actually. I already finished all my projects for sim lab, so I think I'm probably just going to be working on my remediation stuff, which is fine with me so I can get some feedback from the instructors because I think they have been <laughs> quite bored not having much to do with us because because carriers removal has been like our easiest practical so far. We also have some good news. We got our carryology practical back, the identification one that was in person where we like looked at a tooth and had to say cavitated or non-cavitated in the ICDS score and I did so good. I got a 96 on it. So that is my second A of dental school, first AA that wasn't like an A minus, because I got an A minus on the cell bio exam, which was crazy. So my scores in cell bio have been going progressively up. If you saw the last update that like my grades are getting better, that class now I even did a little bit better on exam three. So we have a quiz tomorrow in that, and then we have two more exams for that class. Then we have the exam Friday in infection and immunity and only one more exam for that class, which is really nice. So things are wrapping up. It's going to be so strange when we're done with SimLab and like we're completely online again. I'm honestly not looking forward to it. I really cherish the time we're at the school as much as sometimes maybe I complain about having to get up or like don't want to go for extra hours or something. It's really nice having that extra just interaction with humans even if you're not talking sometimes. So... Thank goodness that I'm here with Amanda, so I won't be totally alone, but not looking forward to when SimLab ends in a few weeks. But I'm going to say goodnight for now, and I will see you all some point on Thursday, hopefully. Good morning, it's 7.30 on Thursday, and I am off to my 8 a.m. SimLab. I really don't know what all we're going to do, but I'll probably just be practicing for my remediation. We'll see. everyone it is friday i took the exam this morning at 8 a.m don't have our grades back yet but i think it went okay and then i just got ready and went to look at another place we might live in next year that's why i never gave full details earlier when i was all excited because what i was all excited about probably isn't going to work out and i'm sure you can all understand that housing in college towns is the actual worst but it's okay hopefully we'll get something that we all like and everything but i do think i'm going to end off this video here i will see you in the next one thank you so much for watching